Hi, this is Manali and I work in customer support for PMC MyMT. This video is going to give you an overview of adding, mapping, questions, variables and service request field in service request management so you can use them in MyMT. In this video, we will look at the demo on how to map a user response to a notes field in incident. For this example, we will take a user response submitted from MyIT and map it to the notes field in the backend incident request. Now let's take a look on how we can configure this. Log into your IT SMS administrator. Go to administrator console and application administration console. Open service request management, application configuration and click on define application object template. We will create this AOT for incident. Add name and summary for the AOT and from app registry name select PMC Remedy Incident Management. Click on add target data. In order to map the field, they have to be exposed from available target data to the selected target data. In incident management, description field is mapped to the summary and detailed description is mapped to the notes. We will select detailed description and click on add. Close the window and save the AOT. Now we will go to the service catalog manager console. From console focus, click on process and click on create. Here we will create the PDD for the AOT that we have just defined. Enter name and description. Drag the AOT from the palette. Click on AOT. From the defined properties, click on the drop down menu of process rep properties and select the AOT that you have just created. Click on apply. Once this is done, click on refine variable and define the variable to map the notes field. Click on add. Click on map data, select the detailed description and pass it as an input to the notes field. Click on apply. Once this is done, save the PDD. Go back to request catalog manager console, click on request definition and click on create. Select the title and description. Select the category. From process template, click on select and select the PDT that we have created. Click on questions and mappings. Click on add question. In the question text, we will define a new question called as description. Enter question text and click on apply. Once the questions are defined, click on variable mapping, click on notes field and click on advanced mapping. In this window, you can select the question individually or you can select all. Click on include question text. So when the data is passed to the backend fulfillment application, user response along with the question would be automatically added. Click on add to mapping. Once this is added, click on save, click on SR field mapping. Select the field nodes and click on advanced mapping. We will perform the same steps such as select on, include question text and click on add to mapping. You can also add SR field over here and you can also include the text for nodes and descriptions. Save the changes, close this window and deploy the SRD. Once the SRD is deployed, log into my ID and open the service request, enter the data. Submit the service request. This is the request we have submitted. Then in request detail, you can see the user response entered by the user. Now we'll go to ITSM, Incident Management. From additional search, search for the service request ID. Click on search, expand the notes field. Here you would be able to see that the user response entered by user is automatically added to the notes field along with the question text. If you open the form SRM colon request and search for the request ID, here you would be able to see that the notes field of service request also contains the same information. For more information and configuration, please refer to our online documentation on adding and mapping questions, variables and service request fields. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.